Hey guys, Mr. P. In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the formation of a peptide bond from molecular diagrams in order to earn full marks on our IB exam. All right, the first thing we wanna do when drawing this diagram is we wanna start with our two individual amino acids. And so our central carbon is gonna be bound to our radical group and a hydrogen. We're going to have a C double O OH group and our amine group. That would be one amino acid. We're going to add that amino acid to an additional amino acid. So it will look identical to the amino acid we just drew. Okay, and so what we have right now is two individual amino acids that we're going to link together with the formation of a peptide bond. So the first thing we want to do in this particular diagram is we want to show these coming together and so we're going to bring these together with the use of this arrow. Now out of the arrow, which means out of the process, an H2O molecule needs to be produced. That indicates that this is a dehydration synthesis reaction, meaning we're going to pull an H and an OH out in order to bring those together in order to produce water. Where does the H and OH come from? The OH is going to be this group and the H is going to be this group. These are going to come in and produce our H2O molecule. Now because we're removing the OH and the H from these two amino acids, the new bond is going to form between the carbon and the nitrogen. And so what we want to do is we want to show those bound in our combined dipeptide. And so I'm going to draw this particular amino acid here, starting with the central carbon. Again, the hydrogen and radical group. It's going to be bound to this C. Now it's going to be double bound to an O directly overhead because the new peptide bond forms between this carbon and the nitrogen of the adjacent nucleotide. It's going to have its R group and its hydrogen, which we forgot to put on. Next to it will be its carboxyl group, just like above. Over here, going back to the left side, we're going to have its amino group and Notice right here, now we have this peptide bond, which we can go ahead and label, which forms as a result of this dehydration synthesis reaction uh, from linking these two individual amino acids while also or simultaneously producing water. We can go ahead and label that as well. This would be all of the necessary requirements for drawing the molecular diagrams of the formation of a peptide bond. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave them in the comments, subscribe to the channel, see ya.